everyone, and welcome to Saloon Build episode 20. In this episode, I'm going to get that trim piece put on there. I finally brought the right wood for that and get it painted. And then around back, it's really wet back here. I do want to put gutters on here eventually. I was in touch with the guy at Westaco Gutters in Lacombe with the Lindab gutter. So I got some of that ordered, galvanized to match this. But I want to get those shingles stained and that window painted this weekend as well. So probably just a quicker episode here, but let's uh, get to work. So this is the piece I cut. I just had some scrap one by at home. So I just cut it there, just guessing a measurement. And it looks like that's going to be just about right. So I will mark that and cut it and put it up. Now that is up, fit pretty nice. Now on to painting. One thing I will have to do though is this uh, storm door here. I'll just have to cut it so it fits in this opening now rather than the whole thing. stained and painted and the front all painted up um, I did take the saloon doors off because they're kind of scuffed up a little bit and the paint is sort of thin on them so I'm gonna attempt to sand them down and stain them but the louvers in there are gonna be pretty hard to sand down so it might just be a matter of sanding the edges and then painting the louvers black which would look all right as well. And then it would sort of match a little better because right now they don't really match. So that's just kind of out of boredom and out of the video not being very long. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, cut the storm door to fit. I think my measurement was 74 and three quarter, but I'll double check that. And then, yeah, throw that on. Well, that pretty much finishes that up nice enough. So maybe I'll do something eventually and paint that door. I don't know, I'll find something cool to do with it. All right, now we'll head back home and get working on those saloon doors. Now back at home here, and I was gonna try some of this paint stripper that I had, but taking a closer look at these, I, I just don't know. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the paint off of here. If I could take these doors apart, that would help a lot. But knowing from experience using this, um, it doesn't work 100%. Like, it works really good. It rips the paint off. But, you know, like, just getting in there and then trying to sand it afterwards, it would just be, like, to do this perfectly would be hundreds of hours of laborious little sanding and stuff and it would never look perfect so I think what I'm gonna do is just sand the outside stain that and then paint the inside black that'll look good enough um, it'll add a bit of contrast to it so I think we'll just go with that but you can tell like the paint on here is pretty thin or stain or whatever they used on here and I kind of slopped some stuff on it too. So they're a little worn out and beat up. So we'll uh, try and refinish them here. But I'll get the sander out. And this is on here so thin. I think I'm just going to sand out. I'm not even going to bother with the paint stripper. I could try a little bit on here just to see what it does. But 
I don't want to make a big uneven spot that I have to try and sand and blend before I paint. So anyways, I'll uh, grab everything and we'll try this out. Now you might be wondering why I'm using dust collection when I'm outside and that's basically just because I spent a lot of money on this system so I might as well use it. With the sander it works pretty good. The holes line up on there. So it basically, it also keeps the paper from getting plugged, which is kind of nice because, you know, especially if you're sanding paint or something, it can heat up and sort of gum up the paper. So if you can get the dust out of there before the friction heats it up too much and it sort of gets gummy, then that helps too. But anyways, I'll get going on this. Now, I think I have a better idea here. I'm gonna paint this first and then sand the outside so I can sand that painted edge right off and I won't have to worry about being sloppy or anything. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but that's what I'm gonna do. So the paint looks pretty good, that's three coats. So I'll just uh, continue sanding these. That was probably the best idea just to let it get messy on there and then I can sand it nice and flush. Alright, now for the stain, I'm just going to be using the same sickened stain that I used on the cedar shingles, so everything should match nice. Um, it's going to be a little bit lighter just because I sanded this, it's not rough sawn, but the same color essentially will be there. I think it'll look pretty good. If it doesn't look good, I have some darker stain. So I'm gonna start on the back side just so I can get a look at it and make sure I like it first, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. That's it, doors are complete. Now just a matter of putting them back in place. All right, well that finishes off the doors. The color matches pretty good. It's a little bit lighter, just like I thought it would be. It actually looks lighter on camera than it does in real life. In real life, it looks a little bit darker. But yeah, they fit the same, which is good, which, expected them to but yeah that just sort of ties everything together more makes it a bit more cohesive than having the odd color paint that didn't match anything so if I can get a further back oh yeah yeah that's gonna look way better well thanks for following along with episode 20 Join me again on episode 21 when I restart the interior. Um, I'll try and do the ladder and finish up some of the trim work, maybe get a bar going in there. Um, but yeah, 
thanks for watching and stay healthy everyone